so if you were to make a checklist of things that I love, it would be Metroidvanias, especially ones that are based with uh, sprite graphics and on the Switch. And uh, God forbid if it has a collector's edition. And that is what we're talking about today, Scarlet Symphony. I actually don't know much about this game except for the fact that apparently it ticks all those boxes. So speaking of boxes and uh, the UN, let's unbox this thing and check this game out. So let me reiterate the fact that I know nothing at all about this game. Uh, so when I do, I, for, for a change, I will do some gameplay on this one, but it's gonna be really short because I'm just gonna dip my toes into it. I'm actually currently in the midst of writing like, uh, I am, I swear to God, I have not given up on game pitch, so I'm writing the next couple scripts on that. But also, I'm in the process of recording like seven videos. I've had so much stuff come in the mail that I am just backlogged. So I'm, that's why I'm making all these now, kind of rapid fire. But that being said, this is the game I know nothing about. Once more, hard chipboard box, really nice. Look at the art. You know, this kind of anime inspired, you know, I don't know anything about this, but it looks really cool. Kind of Guilty Gear-ish, really. Uh, maybe like vampires and Guilty Gear and who knows what. But here's everything that comes with it. So it does come with a... Wow, didn't know about that. Jeez, what all's in here? All right, so we have a spacer, of course. Looks like a book, CD, game. And is this a spacer? Yeah, it's a spacer. So all these other items are spacers. I'm gonna leave them in in their proper way. So here's the game, we'll get to that in a second. A full CD, uh, no, is it full? It's limited edition original soundtrack. Um, it's two discs, 22 tracks and five tracks. So I don't know if it's the full soundtrack, but it's definitely a lot of soundtrack. Um, looks like we have a little art book here with a uh, the characters that have been prominently shown all over this thing. Let's kind of scroll through this a little bit. It's a it's paperback, so I'm, I'm not gonna try to bend anything. But I mean, the art is like really, really well detailed. Looks like we've got some sprite art here. This is what's really exciting me is just the aesthetic looks really good. Some kind of cool skateboard witch. Um, some kind of cool, you know, ice girl. We've got Sergeant Sergeant Cloaks. Captain of the Cloaks. Oh, you kind of like Chinese martial artist style. Uh, we got a, <laughs> like BB Hood <laughs> round two, Electric Boogaloo. BB Hood round three, Electric Boogaloo. I swear to God, like these characters, the, there's the artist had a had a style and went with it <laughs> for sure. Kind of the gothic, uh, gothic-y kind of thing. You know, this is like a maid, battle maid. And this is the uh, evil vampire-y looking bad guy that you have seen here and there on the book. And there's a little kid that also looks quite evil. And that's her in demon mode slash Christmas mode if you, you know, are so inclined to jingle bells. And uh, yeah, all right, it looks like a little, you know, oh, and an interview, which I can't read. So pretty cool little book. Oh no, well, whatever. Um, set these here. Looks like we got a, uh, what do you call those things? Like a, um, what do you call these things? You know, like a little plasticky, standy, you know, hey, check this out kind of thing. And it's basically the box art. I'm assuming in here, it looks like maybe one of these things probably has a, a thing to mount it where it stands up. I'm not quite sure. Um, but you know, I don't really have room on my shelves to like display this. Although who knows, like I might play this game and be like, oh my God, that's so good that I need to display that thing. Uh, but let's see, you know, what the game itself has. It, you know, with Japan, it's hit or miss. It's like they like manuals, but, you know, just like everyone else, no one wants to pay the money to do it. But this is a collector's edition, so, I mean, it's like, what, uh, what, what you gonna do? Um, we're gonna find out is what we're gonna do after I take off the plastic. If I can take off the plastic. That's what happens when you tear it on a corner. And it's like that scene where, you know, Frieza was like five minutes, and it was like eight hours except for it's it's me not being able to open a game and the game is nothing but you know what it does have a really cool kind of inside with no red spine so i won't be doing that uh but still you know whatever let's check this game out though like i said this is going to be like impressions like you're going to be seeing me play this for like the first time so i won't go very deep into it so uh either way let's just get started so when i turn this game on like it is hella anime you got your your classic like j-pop uh intro like anime intro 
song. Uh, I, I don't know. I just <laughs> usually I wouldn't even really highlight this, but I just found it like really kind of funny because it's like so. I don't want to say like generic, but like definitely like you know of of that kind of art audience. Like you know, there's a target here, and it's uh it's firing on all cylinders to make sure to hit that. One thing I did notice though that I actually kind of don't like. Um, just I mean, this is like literally just me starting the game. And that is, um, it looks like they put on a smoothing filter. It's like they made the sprites, um, kind of like, you know, like, like, you know, Game Boy Advance, you know, 16-bit, 32-bit sprites, and then smoothed them out with a filter. Uh, I personally like the kind of rough edges myself, so to me, not a fan. A lot of people actually like this filter, so I'm not going to say, like, it's a negative for everyone. Just me personally, but you know, it, it was enough to jump out at me as something that I like, or in this case, dislike. Enough for me to, to kind of actually bring it up. So uh, it really, really screams Castlevania. Um, you have your whip, you have the cards. One thing I thought that was kind of crazy though is in the beginning they're all like, oh yeah, you can fly. And I was like, okay, yeah, you can fly around. I figured there'd be like a meter or like a, a height limitation. Apparently there's not, but then there immediately is. Uh, they. <laughs> Had these like secret things. I actually got, I guess, like an achievement for this, uh, where these like sentinels or, or something flew down and just like blasted me out of the sky, uh, doing a lot of damage. So you know, even though you can legitimately fly it and kind of like do whatever you want, uh, don't, because <laughs> uh, you will definitely die pretty quick. All of the uh, the like cutscenes are kind of like what you'd think from a game like this. Uh, basically, anime stills, a really highly detailedly drawn. Uh, it does have voice acting, although this game is Japanese, so it's all in Japanese. Um, the uh, the voice acting, but the uh, the you know the text is in English, so readable. Um, once again, very like anime-ish plot, um, and like not the good kind. <laughs> so like I don't really, I'm not really in this game for that. I'm just in it to to play it. But uh, you know the game itself. Um, you know, it, it seemed like bef before I got to this little cutscene, uh, as you can see from the old, from the gameplay, it seemed pretty easy. Uh, that changes immediately when you get to the boss fights. Like this is like Dark Souls Elden Ring hard. I am telling you, it took me quite a while to figure out how to beat this little tiny girl. Um, and very not easy. And I thought, you know, okay, maybe it was just like this boss. But uh, I actually did face a, another boss, and same kind of thing. It's just really, really, really hard. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, I'm going to kind of keep tinkering with this game. Uh, it's currently, in my opinion, kind of unbalanced. It's like the levels themselves, pretty easy. The bosses are extremely hard. Um, take that what you will. Maybe I'm just a scrub. Uh, but, you know, uh, it, it's a neat game. Aesthetically, I'm kind of there, you know, save for that kind of filter thing. But uh, on the whole, I do think this game is pretty decent. Maybe worth checking out. I am telling you, I'm a sucker for a nice chipboard box and a really cool game. So, hey, what do you guys think? I'm just dipping my toes into this one, so I really have a long way to go. But let me know what y'all think down below about this game itself. Is it something that, uh, that it, have you been playing? Is it something I'm really going to be digging so far? I think it's very interesting. Uh, but once again, I don't know much about it, and I'd love to know what you guys think. That's going to do it for us today, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. Uh, and as always, my friends, take it easy.